Installing the Kohler Anthem Recessed Valve This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the installation instructions included with your product for important safety information and detailed installation instructions. For this installation, you will need the following tools and materials. Phillips screwdriver, sealant tape, backer board, level, retracting safety knife, hacksaw, measuring tape, a 1 and 9 30 seconds inch shower valve wrench, thermometer, adjustable wrench, standard woodworking tools, and standard plumbing tools. Follow all local plumbing and building codes. Before beginning, determine how thick the finished wall will be. The distance from the back of the valve to the front of the finished wall needs to be between 3 and 3 16 inches and 4 inches. Install support framing between two studs at the desired installation location. The four-port valve is too wide to fit between studs that are 16 inches on center. If installing the four-port valve, construct a suitable support box for the valve at the installation location. Position the valve against the support framing with the inlets on the left. Verify that the valve is level side to side and front to back. Use shims to level the valve if needed. Attach the valve to the support framing with the provided screws. Each valve inlet requires an inlet pipe with a 3 quarters NPT connection. Apply sealant tape and connect the hot water supply to the top of the valve and the cold water supply to the bottom of the valve. The valve allows for outlets to be installed to the top and bottom ports, depending on the specific showering environment. Each port can support only one outlet fitting. Each outlet requires an outlet pipe with a one half NPT connection. Apply sealant tape and connect each of the shower fittings to the most accessible outlet port. Apply sealant tape and thread a plug into each unused port. Turn on the water supply and check all connections for leaks. Install the finished wall. If the trim will be installed immediately, remove and discard the protective cover from the valve. Trim the foam guard flush with the finished wall. For areas with a maximum flow restriction of 1.8 gallons per minute per shower, the multi-outlet valves require the flow regulator kit be installed to the valve. The provided kit includes a cap, flow regulator, and O-ring. Turn off the water supply and open the outlets to relieve any water pressure. Using a 1 and 9 30 seconds inch shower valve wrench, loosen the retaining nut and remove the valve cartridge. Install the flow regulator, O-ring, and cap onto the back of the cartridge. Reinstall the cartridge so that the tab fits into the slot on the valve body. Secure the cartridge with the retaining nut. Attach the mounting frame to the valve using the four provided screws. Press the valve plug onto the cartridge opening. Press the stems so all are in the extended position. Cut the valve stems flush with the trim guides. Remove the trim guides and retain the screws. Orient the buttons with the line pointing up. Attach the buttons to the valve with the screws that were removed earlier. Test each button for proper operation. Snap on the trim tiles that correspond to each shower fitting. For additional trim icon options, visit Kohler.com. Verify that the word up on the stem extension is in the 12 o'clock position. Warning! Risk of scalding. High water temperature can cause severe burns. Set the water temperature at or below 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Orient the limit stop so that the tabs are in the 10 and 2 o'clock positions. Using the provided 2.5 mm hex wrench, tighten the two set screws to secure the limit stop to the stem extension. Position the knob on the stem extension and press the stem drive into place. 
Engage the bypass button and rotate the knob counterclockwise until it stops at the 2 o'clock position. Press one of the outlet buttons to turn on the water. Then use a thermometer to measure the water temperature. As the water temperature begins to stabilize, disconnect the stem drive from the knob and rotate the stem extension to increase or decrease the water temperature as needed. Once the desired water temperature is reached, carefully remove the stem drive, screw, and stem extension. Make sure the wave washer is removed along with the stem extension. Turn off the water. Remove the knob, then install the wave spring and the plastic friction washer. Reinstall the knob with the bypass button in the 6 o'clock position. Install the snap ring onto the limit stop. Make sure the snap ring is completely seated in the groove on the limit stop. Press in the bypass button and rotate the knob counterclockwise until it engages the high temperature stop. Make sure the wave washer is still installed to the stem extension. Reinstall the stem extension with the grooves aligned with the bypass button in the 2 o'clock position. Tighten the screw. Reinstall the stem drive, then rotate the knob clockwise until the button is in the 6 o'clock position. Repeat the previous steps as needed to increase or decrease the maximum water temperature. Install the knob end cap to complete the installation. To operate the valve, press the outlet buttons to start and stop the flow of water. Rotating the buttons will increase and decrease the water flow from each outlet. To adjust the water temperature, rotate the knob.